Good afternoon, UCF Knights. I'm Anna Espinosa. Let's take a quick look at what's making news on September 28th, 2017. In national news, the White House has waived the Jones Act for Puerto Rico. The island has been suffering heavily since Hurricane Maria made landfall more than a week ago. The Jones Act allows only U.S. ships to port in the U.S. Now that the law has been lifted temporarily, the island can receive goods by boats from other countries. UCF student Ricardo Gonzalez is from Puerto Rico. He says he's happy the Jones Act was lifted. Um, but I feel like with this Jones Act lifted, uh, all the countries that are going to be able to help Puerto Rico is definitely going to kill the years that probably would take to rebuild Puerto Rico. Homeland Security Secretary Elaine Duke says the waiver will be in effect for 10 days and will cover all products being shipped to Puerto Rico. Here at UCF, the Fire and Safety Department is celebrating World Heart Day by teaching students hands-only CPR. World Heart Day is tomorrow, but Orange County Fire and Rescue took time to teach students that mouth-to-mouth -mouth CPR is not the only form of resuscitation. Fire safety engineer Marcel Fernando says it is also important to know where the closest automatic external defibrillator is. AEDs have step-by-step -step CPR instructions and can be found anywhere on campus. While some students are learning about CPR, others are taking workshops on how to avoid academic integrity. Jennifer Wright is the director of the Office of Integrity and Ethical Development. She is helping students understand the rules of academic integrity. She believes students are putting too much pressure on themselves to make an A and end up taking the easy way out. And if a student is found in violation of academic misconduct, the punitive sanctions can range from a disciplinary warning, disciplinary probation, disciplinary suspension, disciplinary expulsion. Wright continued the workshop by passing out flyers displaying the do's and don'ts of using websites such as Quizlet. Wright stressed to proceed with caution because cheating pulls students into an area of vulnerability where they learn nothing academically. In other news, American icon Hugh Hefner, who introduced the world to Playboy magazine, has died. Playboy Enterprises released a statement saying Hefner passed away peacefully in his home last night. He was 91 years old. Now let's take a quick look at the weather. It's 89 degrees outside, partly cloudy with 15% chance of rain. Later on today, there will be a high near 93 degrees. Tonight, there will be a low around 80 degrees and mostly cloudy. Tomorrow, the high will be near 87 degrees with scattered thunderstorms and a 60% chance of rain. In some major sports news, a new FBI investigation is looking into the NCAA. Multiple college basketball teams and shoe apparel companies are being investigated for possible bribery and fraud schemes. Some of the teams include the University of Miami, the University of Louisville, and the University of Auburn. Louisville's head coach, Rick Pitino, was placed on unpaid leave following the allegations. That's all the time we have for now, Knights. Please check back with us tomorrow for our newscast at 1.30 p.m. on Bright House Channel 734. And check back here on Monday for another nightly news update. I'm Anna Espinosa. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.